Hey guys, welcome back to Less Expensive Fix. So today's video is still working on G35. The same code like yesterday where it was the video for. So I found the problem on the car. It's the first problem before I changed the O2 sensor for the top ones. I buy the, the O2 sensor, but they sent me a wrong parts. So I have to find out where from where I can get the parts. The parts, I believe, they come in only in Denso, doesn't come in an NGK. So what I did now, I found the problem, but the car drive more better than before. So stay with me guys, and before you see the, finish the video, make a like, share, subscribe to the channel, do some more tricks, stay with me. So guys, the problem I find I keep looking yesterday, all day on all lines, it was going out to this two cold and many things, this is fuel pump, O2 sensor, or it could be if you have a cold intake, or if you have oil catch can. So my problem was the oil catch can make a leak. So the leak here was from this side of the PCV valve, PCV valve problem. So if you put like one clip of this, you're going to make you have a leak up here. So this is why I live alone with no clip or nothing. Just be it like it's good that the, the hose is good. So I put just the clip on this side here. And before that I heard them like what you squeeze with the clip right here, you feel the air leaking. So if you have an air leak from the PCV valve, the computer doesn't manage how many air come out from your engine. And so what's gonna happen is gonna give you airflow problem. So guys, this is the problem. And I clean a little bit of my cold intake from it because I have a paint on it. So now it's good, the car drive better, smoother. So the oil catch can. Yeah, I pretty much keep my engine clean, but at the same time a lot of problem like that. I don't need the oil catch can on my car. So this was going on guys. So the car ran better, just with the OEM, the sets, no oil catch can. So, yeah, this is what it is, guys, now. So, the problem is pretty fine, but I still have to change, I want to change the sensors. And it could be, too, if you have a fuel fuel pump problem, it's going to cost you the same problem, too. Okay, guys, so I got this uh, printer from AutoZone. This is the part number. It's gonna be uh, 15667. And this is the part how it's supposed to be looked. This is the connection that's supposed to be looked. This is for the upstream uh, O2 sensor. This was sensor you need. Make sure, guys, you put the right one. So, if you have a fuel pump, bad fuel pump, and fuel pump like regulator is not is not correct, I have I have one actually in my car. I have to open the fuel pump sides because it's a brand new pump when I start because too much job because this sedan there's two doors this one is not sedan like four doors easy to do it this is really difficult for me as I'm six nine tall be difficult to do the back sides so I have to open the fuel pump and uh, make it regulate to, uh, like to enter the beat to her place so that's it pretty much we're done after that I have to take it to someone to turn the car to pick up more horsepower because a lot of aftermarket stuff, the computer doesn't know what's, how many air they come out. You see, too much air came, too much air capacity, you don't know what's going on. It's that cost you a lot of problem. So even when I talk with a guy, you gotta turn my car. He says, don't worry about all these lights because your ECU is not tuned yet. So all the computer doesn't know what's going on. As soon as you gotta turn it, you gotta make everything be together and you gotta work fine. So guys, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel to see more tricks. And I'll see you to another video until I install the O2 sensor. And I will show you the job. Thank you guys, and see you.